Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle from Mickey Lee Creates. And in this video, it's gonna be a grocery haul. Again, another small one. It's just my husband and I eating. I don't have to cook for as many people anymore. My oldest has moved out. My youngest is upstairs in his own little apartment. So it's just him and I, and we just don't go through a lot of food. But anyway, I'm also gonna include a kitchen clean with me. On Friday nights, I don't usually clean the kitchen. Uh, Monday through Thursday, my husband and I make sure it's clean because we have to get up the next morning and I don't like dishes in my sink. But Friday nights are my night to just not do anything. I don't know about you, but the night before the weekend is probably my favorite part of the weekend. So Friday nights, I cook, I leave it, and then Saturday morning I come down and then I'll actually do like a deeper clean, clean my sink and all of that. So without all, with all that being said, let's just get into the video. All right, so first we'll start with the meals of the week and this is for July 26th to August 1st. On Monday, we're gonna have chicken parm sliders with fries, grilled chicken gyros with pasta, with a pasta side. It's a rotini pasta that I make, and of course it'll be in the video. Um, Wednesday, we're doing beef and broccoli stir fry, and yes, we probably will have mozzarella sticks. Thursday, chicken fajita pasta with um, bread, maybe a salad. Friday is dinner out, but like I said, usually we can switch those up, so Thursday might be dinner out, and Friday might be the pasta night. Saturday, we're doing chili cheese hot dogs, which are my husband's favorite with macaroni and cheese. I don't prefer macaroni and cheese and I definitely don't like chili cheese hot dogs, so I'll probably just eat a plain hot dog and find something else to go with it. Sunday, we're gonna have goose um, steak. My husband shot a goose like this past winter and I still have it in the freezer and I wanna get them used up. Um, and then I'm gonna do macaroni and cheese he could probably eat that every day of the week if i cooked it i just don't so i may do macaroni and cheese and i may find something else to make with it i'm not sure i think i might swap that out with like all gratin potatoes and possibly a salad so like i said again this is another small haul it's nothing really big like really small um, we'll start here. I did get some brioche bun sliders. I have never ever tried these, but they look really good. So I'm going to get those. We're going to use, mm, use those on for the chicken parm sliders, obviously. And then again, this is another one that is a first for me is the white Greek style pitas. They look so good and very, very soft. So I'm going to use those, of course, for the grilled chicken pitas. Um, did get some tomatoes to go with the sandwiches. And my husband just likes to have tomatoes around. Uh, got coke they only had one two liter and then the small one so they just substituted it but I'll probably have to go to the store and get another two liter but it's okay no big deal great value vegetable oil spray cooking spray some Italian style breadcrumbs I think what's this oh chili powder for the chili cheese hot dogs I want to make my own chili powder Hoisin sauce, I already have soy sauce, so I bought some hoisin sauce to go with um, the sauce I'm making for the beef and broccoli. The party size peanut butter M&Ms, don't judge. Yes, I already got into them, but I did get those. And then of course a box of rotini, and that's gonna go with that pasta salad that I'm gonna make. And like I said, that's it, it's a really small haul. Oh no, shoot, I'm sorry. And then I bought some eye round thin, steak and that's going to go and be used for the brie, uh, excuse me beef and broccoli stir fry oh and i also did get fresh broccoli to go with it and i forgot to grab it out but i did get two stalks of fresh broccoli and that i'm going to use for that rice i already had so i didn't need any more and then finally i'm so excited they actually had chicken so then i just got a pack of chicken all right guys this is it this is my haul for the week and dinners I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you later. Bye. So first I'm going to show you my one corner that always seems to collect everything. Everything gets put there. I have tried to find different spaces for stuff. It just doesn't work. So I'll definitely get that part cleaned off and put the papers away where they belong. It's not awful, the kitchen wasn't terrible, but like the stove and everything needs to be cleaned. It needs a good cleaning. So first I'm just gonna go ahead, empty out the dishwasher and put the dirty dishes in.
So our sink, or not sink, I'm sorry, our house came with the white sink when we bought it. And I mean, I guess at the time it was great. And it does look nice, like the farmhouse kitchen look, but absolutely I cannot stand it. It is so hard to try to keep, you know, stains out and cleaning. And I don't like to use bleach because it gives me a headache. So the best alternative I have found to at least keep it semi-white is baking powder, the Dawn spray, and vinegar. And then I'll show you, or you'll see in the next clips how I clean it. You guys this stove came with the house of course when we bought it now this house was built in the 90s and no one ever lived in it they built it but they never ever lived in it so at the time the appliances in the 90s were top end and they they're good I'm not gonna say that they're bad appliances but absolutely again cannot keep it clean I'll scrub and I'll try to get it the enamel is coming off um, I guess from where I scrubbed it so it's partly my fault but I just don't know how else to do it. We are looking for new appliances, but with everything that's been going on, it's been so hard to find something that I like or that will fit in that space. So until then, I'm just using the old 90s stove and I'll just have to keep scrubbing it. So in the last bit, you're just gonna see me run my vacuum through the kitchen. I did mop, unfortunately I thought I had hit record and I did not. So I was not gonna go back and 
uh, record me mopping the kitchen again so or mopping the floor but I did do that and I'll end it here and at the end I'll just show you the after of everything once I was finished all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like subscribe and give it a thumbs up and comment if you want to um, anyway I'll see you in the next one have a great rest of the day bye guys Thank you.